Hey guys! So, today I'm going to be doing something exciting! We are going to be doing some how I edit my videos. And make sure to stay tuned for the next video because that's going to be how I make my thumbnail. And I just want to tell you, this video is not sponsored by anyone. So, yeah. I'm not sponsored. <laughs> So let's just go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so what I use is something called Clipchamp Create. Again, this is not sponsored, it's just what I use. Let's, so what you want to click is you will click Create a Video. Choose a template. If you're making a YouTube video, I would say 69. 1 1 seems good but the thing is if you haven't seen my video in where i do uh um where i do creepy places in animal jam i used this and you'll see how that ended out so i recommend widescreen Once you've done that, you, if you haven't already recorded what you need, you can do that and then download it. Once you do that, E, you, uh, let me just, you forget what happened. I'm not showing file. Okay, so once you've had your video, you want to drag it. To right here again you can record the intro separately and then attach these two together now if you're using clip champ create like me not sponsored you want to um you gotta name it what you want it to be called E, um, there we go. Now go to text. Here is what I do. Whenever the thing starts, I put it, I grab E, what happened? Uh, be right back. Okay, so go here. I like to use mirror. So you drag this, and I put it at the start, about right there. It should show up right here. And I, and you might ask how I type my stuff. You click on this. Make sure you have it at the right timing, so you can see everything. I would go like right there. Click on it. You want to click on it. Click text, and here you go. Type what you need. These are eyes, by the way. Then you can click the type of it you want to be. I like this one. And it says add logo, but you only have that if you upgrade. So just click none. I made the mistake sometimes of not clicking none and that's like sad um and then you can do colors i'm just gonna keep it white because why not and next up transitions again if you're like putting two videos you can do transitions but i'm not gonna do that right now because i'm not doing two videos so once you had your text what i do is i take the clean one right here i drag it it all the way to the end of the video and I put it at the end and I use that as my outro. Cool, right? Um, I don't know what background does really. Here are the transitions. I usually, when I do transitions, 
do the zoom in one. Now, there's this thing where you could do stock and add music, but I usually don't do that and take the music from uh, YouTube. So, now that you have all this, you can click on this. You can do layout, whatever that does, transform, and filters. I usually do the indoors filter. Color balance is also a thing. I turn up the exposure a bit because it lightened it up. Saturation a little bit. Temperature only just a little bit to the red. And contrast like down because I don't like contrast. There I go. This is fade. I don't know what that does. Here is speed. You can make it super fast. If I made it fast, it would be seven seconds. But when it's normal, it's only 38 seconds. So once you've had once you've done everything you need, you wanna click play and you can see how it turned out. Ooh, what's this doing here? Hold up. Guys, I put this in the wrong place. I need to move this, okay. Move it all the way to the end. Place it at the end to make it your outro. Thank you. Now, you can watch it to see what exactly you have so far. And then, as you can see, here comes the glitches. If you use what I use to record, it does that sometimes, and I don't know why. And you can just see how the video plays out. And if you really are getting bored, you can just skip to almost the end to see the outro. And... Boop. Okay, once you're done editing, you got to click export. You click what you want. These two you need to upgrade for. And then you got to... If you don't have one, you can click 480p. You click whatever that does, and it exports. Depending on how long it is, depends on how long it takes to export. Once that done, is done, it usually um, downloads it for you. So I'll go ahead and pause it here so you can, and then I'll unpause it once it's done export. Okay, as you can see, it doesn't show it on this, but it'll say download complete in the corner, depending on what you have. It'll ask you for a review. I'm just gonna skip it. And it's downloaded.